10.3 gigs. You're going to need 10.3 gigs of space in order to download Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield into your Nintendo Switch device. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Game of Fred, and today we're going to go over a ton of news topics that happened over the past couple of days that I miss covering on the channel right here. Let's jump into the first one, which one is a doozy, and that is the fact that the game's download size have gotten leaked. Download cards of both Sword and Shield revealed the download sizes of the games. These download codes were found in Japanese retailers. And while you can't redeem the codes now and play the game, people have realized that the download size on them is 10.3 gigs. So we are going to need 10.3 gigs of storage space inside of our Nintendo Switch, which shouldn't be a problem because I believe it has 35 natively. And if you fill that up, you can throw an SD card in there and drop the game on an SD card which is probably what most people do nowadays. I have a 400 gigabyte SD card in my Nintendo Switch, which I paid like $20 for, to be honest. So I'm going to have tons of space actually for both games. So I'm excited for that. But let me know your thoughts of the games being so huge. I saw a ton of people on Twitter giving their two cents on why the games could be so huge. The end all be all of that topic of that conversation is that we don't know until we get the games and actually look at the files until the data miners look at it. We don't know why the game is so huge. Now, if we compare them to previous Pokemon games, X and Y was 1.7 gigs, Auras was 1.8 gigs, Sun and Moon was 3.2, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was 3.6, and the Let's Go games on the Nintendo Switch was 4.1. So this is literally double the size of Let's Go. So that's gonna be incredible. And again, me saying double the size of Let's Go can't really interpret on how big the game is going to be in scope compared to let's go but going over to the next topic is this image right here got leaked from Coral Coral, which is basically their cover of their fastest guide book. On the cover, it shows what the end game poster is gonna be. That end game poster is gonna be a guide of the wild area. And you could see literally the whole wild area. You can't read the text, it's so small and so tiny. There's a whole bunch of little dots everywhere over the wild areas, and we don't know what that's actually gonna be or indicate. But my guess is gonna be that's spawn points for Pokemon and they're gonna indicate what Pokemon could spawn there depending on time of day, weather, etc. And if you look at it, it's a whole bunch of like dots everywhere. And that means it's probably gonna be filled with a whole bunch of Pokemon or items or whatever. We don't know. This looks incredible because this wild area looks huge. It looks like the biggest area ever to be in a Pokemon game. And that's exactly what it is. The biggest area ever in a Pokemon game. Let me know your thoughts on on this in the comment section below again this news came out a couple days ago and because of the move and the baby planning and stuff like that I i've been completely busy i just want to keep y'all guys informed and drop my, my my little two cents into it also we got an uh, image of the game's startup screen and now i wasn't going to include this it's really not much because it's just an image we don't get a video of the start screen playing so to me it's like a little tease all you see is like the state so that that can mean something or nothing. I'm surprised it's not the legendaries, but it's cool to see them highlighting the stadium aspect of the game here in the title screens. Last but not least, you probably heard tomorrow there is a, another trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield or Galar research happening tomorrow. Yes, I'm gonna do a trailer reaction review to it or basically sum it up in the video tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that. And that's gonna be it for my news roundup. Let me know your thoughts about everything that we went over today from the download size to the title screens getting shown to the wild area and how big it is. Let me know. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's chat it up down there. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over to recommend it so other people can check out the video. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Shield news update video.
like always guys i'm daddy i'm a fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one